Hello you guys. It's so so creepy. Today we're not going to talk about fashion. We are going to talk about feelings. Feelings of love, heartbreak, infatuation, attraction. You get the gist. And the lessons I learned from these feelings because girl, I've made too many mistakes. So sit back, relax and let's get chatting. Lesson number 1. Fall for actions and not for words. You've probably heard it way too many times, but it couldn't be more true. During my college days, there was this guy I was seeing and he would say all the right things. He just had a way with his words. He would make grand promises about the future and it made me feel like he was madly in love with me. But when it came to going through with all of those things and putting in the effort, nothing his words never matched up to his actions and i justified it back then by telling myself that you know maybe he's busy or he's just going through a rough patch but it was only later when i learned it the hard way that someone's actions is what truly reveals their intentions and their priorities and i clearly wasn't one of it for him so now i pay really close attention to how someone shows up in my life instead of just getting swept off by empty promises lesson number to do not lose your own identity while trying to please someone else and i have made this mistake way too many times i always felt like if i change up my hobbies interests or values to align with theirs they might end up liking me even more or fall in love with me at first it might feel like you're just being a little adjusting or accommodating but with time you do tend to realize that you're sort of losing sight of who you truly are and i have been there there was this guy who would tell me that i suck at dancing and i cannot dance and i just shouldn't do it But have you seen my childhood videos? I absolutely loved dancing. I lived for dancing. But because he kept reiterating that I cannot dance, I just stopped pursuing it even if it was just for fun until a few months back and I am absolutely loving it. What I mean by maintaining your own identity in a relationship is not that you should not make sacrifices or not be compromising. That's not what I'm saying at all. You need to probably do that at times too, but do not change your core values, interests or hobbies just so that someone else likes you a bit more. Lesson number 3, do not fall for potential. Now when you meet someone who's very charming handsome ambitious you guys have similar thinking come from similar family backgrounds you start thinking instantly of how good you guys would be in the future so you stop living in the present and start only thinking about the future in the present there might be clear signs of him not wanting to commit to you or he might be emotionally unavailable but you like a dumbass girl will brush that aside because you cannot wait to see how good you guys would be in the future now he might be a great guy but if you guys don't share the same core values about what it takes to be in a relationship this is not worth it lesson number 4 if someone shows you who they are believe them if someone clearly tells you that they're not looking for a serious relationship they're looking for something casual or they're too busy with work to give you any time be leave them do not try to tell yourself that they will change once they see how wonderful you are and fall madly in love with you that's really not going to happen cuz this ain't a karan johar film now someone who shows you who they really are through their actions and if you're judging them based off on that it does not mean that you are jumping to conclusions or making assumptions it simply means that you are acknowledging their actions and making decisions based on reality and not living in denial or wishful thinking ultimately it's basically about respecting yourself enough to walk away when someone is not treating you the right way or the way you expect to be treated lesson number 5 don't run to your friends every single time for advice I used to do that. So every time there was a tricky conversation or a confusing text that I wanted to reply to, I would run to my friends. And initially I thought that's okay, right? Because what else are friends for? But eventually I started to realize that it was kind of hindering my own decisions. I was not able to take decisions for myself and trust my own feelings. And I also had to understand that I am the one in this relationship, not my friends. So I need to trust my own gut and my own intuitions. about it because there's no one else better to do that. Oftentimes each of my friends would have different advices which would lead to even more confusion. Lesson number 6, communication is key. Most of the times that I suffered heartbreak, it was because we did not communicate to each other what we were looking for. For example, if I was looking for a committed relationship and the partner wasn't 
we just didn't want to have that awkward conversation about where is this going so i took advantage of the fact that you know i'm just going to go with the flow because this is what i want and i'm happy with it and the guy was also happy because he was getting the girlfriend experience and he didn't have to talk about where this was going either you continue to be okay with the situation ship thinking that it will eventually work out despite you both being on very different pages and you both don't know of that because you did not communicate in fact even in healthy happy relationships if you're not communicating regularly about what you expect out of each other how you like to be loved um or when you have a fight you're not communicating and just brushing things under the carpet until it comes up again in another fight you are sure to end up with some bitter ugly feelings and finally lesson number 7 which is probably the hardest lesson that i learned was from being cheated on and betrayed and experiencing infidelity first hand breaks your heart into million pieces trust me but the journal of family psychology actually states that being cheated on acts as a catalyst for personal growth and resilience i wouldn't have probably been a youtuber if that hadn't happened with me so it all did end up for good and the best part is that i never stopped loving love i have no bitter feelings towards love it was an experience that happened and i learned and grew from it but having shared all these lessons i do want to add that even though i had these sour experiences they only made me a better person they added to my personal growth and they made me more aware of what i like and what i don't like in a relationship that i'm seeking now i cannot say or promise that i will not make any more mistakes i probably will but what i do know is that it will make me a better person and i am going to learn something from it and so will you so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and will take away something even if it's just a tiny little learning that adds to your personal growth so that's it for today and i will see you guys in my next video bye